Hey YouTubers, um, only me, um, same date, um, Monday 5th of July, uh, the reason I said that is because I've just done a vlog just before um, this one saying oh health, I've left health fit, that kind of thing, anyways, I have got good news but I don't really want to tell you as yet in case uh, I bring up my hopes and then something else happens so all I can say good news I say um, it has took me a long time uh, or quite a while for me to adjust of what's happening uh, anyways I was told by a text message that um, uh, that the boss of the Twist and Ducks and Spectrum he will be able to um, catch up with me sometime this week to find out how I'm doing so I just need to tell him that I just can't do uh, how fit anymore but anyways I'm going to stop that subject altogether because I don't want to talk about that I mean brilliant group I have to admit it, it is a brilliant group um, it's just all the time is what all wrong uh, and I had to literally had to, I had to sacrifice something so I chose I chose my mum over I chose my mum more over than uh, how fit so yeah win-win um anyways this is not what the vlog's about like me leaving health it and whatever you've already done that uh i'm walking hooch just around the block because the food will not be until uh 35 minutes or 40 odd minutes or whatever you but sometimes it can take a little bit longer so so like thinking hmm yeah yeah thinking all sorts anyways I've had a me and my mum has had a letter for the past two weeks two weeks and two days ago I'll tell you what it's all about basically it's about um me and my mum received a letter. Um, we both received a letter from the NHS about that we've been approved about getting a vaccination. Mine's the the provisor, I think, because I'm underage. I don't know what my mum's is going to be. Because they have to give like some kind of met, they have to do some kind of vaccination, so it doesn't cause her to have a seizure. So I don't know what hers will be. I haven't got a clue. Not a clue. And I said, um, I said to one of my carers that I was going to give give it a week to think about getting a vaccination done. Because this will be mine and my mum's first vaccination. Because last time when my mum had the um, had the um, letter to say oh to get vaccinated, we put it straight in the bin, didn't we? Because back then it was like you must get your vaccination done, and we were like, no, nope, not gonna happen. So. Now it's the whole, oh, you can get your vaccination, but you don't have to if you don't want to kind of situation. So we're like, well, do we, don't we? And we're both like, well, what's in the vaccination? We're all like, um, of course it would give us side effects like soreness, tiredness, whatever you. Um, we'll still catch the virus, but it won't be as bad. But so far for the past year, we haven't caught the virus or not that we can think of. 
far because apparently you can still get COVID even though you don't feel whatever you. But anyways, that's just the news scaring everyone off. Um, so because we haven't had any symptoms and our temperatures have been kind of whatever you call normal level, like 35 point whatever you, or whatever it's meant to be, um, we've been all right. Um, we've been cushy. I mean, yes, we got quarantined once due to my neighbors due to my neighbors um on that lives on the right hand side saying that someone has got covid and that they all, all had it and we quarantined for three days we got tested twice and obviously it was negative so we managed to get out on the third day Oh, sorry, we'll get out on the third day. I know you're supposed to quarantine, but I don't know how long. But I was like, no, three days, I'm going to chance it. I couldn't stay there. I couldn't stay in the house for, what, six or ten days or whatever you. But, yeah, we stayed in for three days. I took Hooch on just a very, very small walk, and I had to wear my mask because of it. I had to literally take Hooch just to the field. That was it, just like say a few laps around the field and that was it, that's all I could do. And then I had to return home and I had to wear a mask because I was in quarantine and I was like, eh, yeah, stay away, stay away. <laughs> but obviously we're out and yeah, we're good. Um, I don't know why I'm telling you this. So yeah, we received we received the letter, both of us, two weeks ago, saying that we we're eligible to have the vaccination. So the boss of the Twist and Dots was like, uh, "Have I had my vaccination yet?" And I was like, "No," but I got the letter. Why did I say I got the letter? Anyways. I can't remember what he said after that, but hey ho. And then I talked to um, the one who runs Spectrum uh, at the moment. I talked to her, say, uh, and she asked if I've had my vaccination. I'm like, oh, I haven't yet, but I received a letter, and I'm still kind of deciding, do I or don't I? And she said, um, you can if you want to. You don't have to. But it is meant to, you know, protect you. But again, you don't have to if you don't want to. I'm like, thanks. But it was actually my carer who said it first, saying that I don't that we didn't have to if we didn't want to. So me and my mum are still deciding on that one. Like, do we get vaccinated or don't we get vaccinated? I mean, my grandma has, and she's like, what, in her seventies. And she had a bit of a, um, a few um, relapses due to the vaccination. But if, I, I guess it affects people in different ways. I'm not sure, but it affects different people in different ways. Um, anyways. So we're still deciding, I mean, like I said, it's been two weeks, yeah, two weeks and two days. So, see if we've uh, received that. That reminds me, when I get home, or when I wake up in the morning, I need to check um, my mum's gift bag that I've stored my mum's presents in, which is actually in the spare room come covered. I like to say spare room come cupboard because it's it's starting to look like a cupboard because my bedroom is absolutely well it was empty and now the somehow the visual shelf has returned into my bedroom I'm like what 
but yeah so i need to check in there to see if i have actually wrote in a birthday card or brought a birthday card for my mum. if not i mean i say i've got plenty of time but i've only got what is it july 5th so i've got 20 25 days i think 24 or 25 days until my mum reaches 57. I'm like, what? How many days? <laughs> um, so yeah, um, so in the morning or when I put my jammies on, what have you, I need to check that I have brought a card and wrote in it. If not, I need to get one. <laughs> like, soon so yeah but hopefully i'm prepared i've got i've got all the presents presents sorted it's just the card i'm like is that sorted is that checked off on on that list uh, <laughs> so yeah anyways it'd be cushy and then it's just trying to find out what do we do on my mum's birthday? Do we just do a meal? Do we just do a game or something? Or what have you? Or out and about? I don't know. We haven't really... I don't think we have actually fully planned of what's happening on mum's birthday. So I'm like... Eh. Um, what else can I tell you guys? Uh, no, I can't tell you that. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. I got a new puppet. Well, I didn't buy a new puppet. My mum did, but from a charity shop. Actually, I don't know if I can, but I think I can show you because I put him in Kermit sneakily and obviously my mum knew that he was in there I was like oh <laughs> yeah I was like oh uh, yes it's a he by the way uh, just if you're wondering I know he's not alive I know I know what everyone's gonna say he's not alive two seconds I'm doing two things at once I'm holding Hooch holding Kermit There he is. This is Lenny. Lenny the Lion. In a roundabout way, he's a smaller version compared to... Well, a definitely smaller version compared to Larry. Because I had to give Larry to one of my carer's daughter. And now because I'm decluttering my toys, eventually... Ow, 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 little finger. Because I'm... Um, Decluttering my toys, uh, whenever that'll be. I think it'll be decluttered when um, it, it will start decluttering once my bedroom is all decorated and looking nicey nice. Sorry, you saw my drool. I had to hold my phone by my, by my mouth. Not the phone, just the phone case. The actual magnet bit. So I could put um, Lenny back in. I will take him back out eventually. Um, so yeah, my mum brought him because I wasn't expecting it, you see. Uh, I mean, yes, I'm expecting to get puppets because I'm decluttering my toys. But that, not that specific day, but Sunday, me and my mum had a small falling out a very small falling out and because of it i wasn't expecting anything on day two or day three i think and i was like oh my god mom i wasn't expecting that because of blah 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 and um and she was like well because you're decluttering because kieran because you are trying to declutter your um toys for slash teddy friends it's best to 
you know, get, um, get you puppets, obviously. And plus, he was like uh, the last one up for sale. Uh, I was like, oh, thanks, thanks. And it was like, oh, what shall we call him? We were going to call him Larry after uh, the one that I had to give away. But then my mum kind of looked at his eyes going, actually, nah, I think you could be Lenny. My mum nearly called him Growly. Nearly Growly. Like, he was gonna, she was gonna call him Growly. And I was like, no, I like Lenny better. Lenny the Lion instead of Lenny the Shark. Because I did have a Lenny the Shark a long time ago. Don't know what happened to that, but I did have a Lenny the Shark. Because it looked like a shark and I called it Lenny. So, yeah. Lenny the Lion. Lenny the Lion. He's cute. He'd be introduced to the uh, Kermit the Frog's TikTok um, thing. Hopefully. So, yeah. Um, all is well. Apart from me leaving Halfit, but yeah, all is well. But I guess I, I have to look on the bright side. Leaving Halfit means I've got more time with my carers and doing more activities and what have you. So I'm like, woohoo! So I'll be telling them tomorrow. I'll be telling one of them tomorrow because she's coming round. And then I tell. Um, the other carer who's going to be looking after in, um, a client because I'll be seeing them tomorrow anyways because we're going to go to the cafe in the ta in town in the Granger Market I've actually forgotten what it's called but it's in the Granger Market and I'll tell her because she was she's been promoted to do uh, the register instead of the other person so I'll tell I'll tell her say I'll tell her saying um, that um, I haven't got how fit anymore, so uh, what do we do from here? Be like, okay, we'll do this. <laughs> right. So that means I don't have to wear this ridiculous outfit. Woo! Sorry, that was a bit loud. <laughs> I'm not saying this and my shorts, white socks and uh, and the shoes that looks like um, the shoes uh, from Sonic the Hedgehog um, is looks. I'm not saying that it, it looks ridiculous. It's just I've been wearing this every Monday without fail, and now I'm gonna flow free, free as the wind blows. <laughs> I can wear whatever I want on Monday. So I'm like, yeah. As long as I'm not in my um, birthday suit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my birthday suit. Not as in a suit that I got for my birthday. Everyone should know what I mean by birthday suit. It's the suit you come in as when you're born. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so yeah. I'll wear anything. Just not like that. <laughs> so better to wear something than nothing. <laughs> yeah. So so hopefully. So like I said. I won't hopefully. I should, shouldn't be, we uh, be wearing this outfit. I might wear these shorts again. But obviously with. I don't know, with my vest top or something. So it still kind of looks athletic, but not athletic, if that makes sense. But I am still going to do my exercises that I was taught from how fit. So, but I need to put in the time slot for that. If I want to keep doing that. That's the thing. But then again, I keep fit anyways by walking him even though he walks me right i'm gonna catch you later youtubers it's like nearly 20 minutes so live long and prosper 
Uh, stay safe. If I don't see you in the next vlog, I'll see you in the next project. Bye!